as we say, we stop playing with bugs and bitching about buying masks online and get back to some actual prop building, huh? So if I did this right, you would have saw the end result in the beginning of the video, right? So uh, this is where I'm at right now. I already got the panel here uh, that you saw. Um, I made it with a quarter inch lou on and then just built the frame on it because I wanted to make the thing as light as possible since it was going to be attached to that mannequin and I didn't want to make it front heavy. So uh, I tried to make it as light as possible, painting the back black and the, the projection side of it white, just like that. Uh, over here, I got in the midst the uh, the hand building process. There's the uh, the crude um, uh, Great stuff on the uh, I use uh, 12 gauge electrical wire. I think it bends a lot easier than uh, coat hangers um, There's the the before here's the after I didn't do the whole hand all I really needed was the uh, the fingers to be posable uh, There's the gloves there That you saw the hands for the monster um, no joke, I was standing in line at Home Depot and I was reading some emails and I got an email from the guy I bought the mannequin from for the Swaying Girl Zombie and he said, hey, I still have this male mannequin if you're interested. So I literally, I put everything back that I had in my Home Depot basket and uh, drove over to his house and uh, picked up this thing. And I've already put it together once. The thing is like six feet tall. It's huge. Um, so uh, yeah, here's the mask that I got. This is my eBay mask uh, that I'm going to use. And um, we got some modifications to do to that to uh, get it going. So we'll show you that next. Here's the platform. I, I tend to do a base for all of them, as you can see here. Nothing to it. It's just a piece of plywood. It's built up on the back. I think I need to build it up a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm going to use this. Oops, it's buried back here. Piece of conduit. That's going to be the structure for it, just to give it some uh, rigidity. So stay tuned, and we're going to make a projection holding, or wait, projection sign holding guy. <laughs> stay tuned. All right, look at this hot mess that we got going on already. Um, I'll start down here at the bottom. I showed you where I left off last time. I showed you that piece of conduit. Well, uh, I'll throw up a picture here of the, uh, the base where I ran that conduit up through the base, through the leg, through the one leg of the, uh, the mannequin, secured it with some uh, angle brackets that are underneath his shoe there that you can't see. And um, the reason why I did that was the stand that the mannequin comes with is nowhere near strong enough to be holding uh, a mannequin up out in the elements and the wind and everything. So I did that. Um, I also, I cut the toes off, put a picture up here. I cut the toes off and inserted some blocks of wood. That gave me something um, solid to screw into from the bottom side. So he is very well attached. To that platform now so I feel pretty confident that uh, it's not going to go anywhere so I'll go around the back side here I cut out a hole and this is all for mounting the um, the the projection panel on the front if you can see in here I got this piece of plywood mounted to the back to the inside of the uh, the mannequin and it's just screwed through the front of his chest okay now that gave me something solid to attach the uh, the sign to now instead of trying to wrestle with the entire sign and get it mounted and get it level and everything what i did was this i took this piece of plywood and let me pull these off here took this piece of plywood and i temporarily screwed it to the um, to the to his chest, basically like this, and leveled it up and everything. Just put a screw at the top, screw at the bottom, and then once I got it to where I, I had it straight and level and plumb, I knew how far away from the the body it needed to be. So what I did, I got these T nuts that you get at Lowe's and Home Depot, and drove those in the back. I got some 3 8 inch all thread because I had no idea really how long my bolts need to be. And quite frankly, the longer the bolts you buy the way more expensive they get and a, what a two foot piece of all thread is like three dollars so it makes way more sense to do that so um, I threaded the all thread into the t-nuts like that you see there whoops uh, bolted it down and then I cut these pieces of PVC pipe as a spacer 
so I knew how far to keep it away from the uh, I'm trying to figure out which one's the top which was the bottom because I forgot already uh, let's see here yeah so that's the top so I put those on there like so and this is much more easy to manage than that entire sign so as you see here I got the holes there and I, I went ahead you see how far away it's, that piece of wood is from the actual body that's why I just used the hole saw and you know made it so it would sit up there flush so see how much easier this wrestles in there like so oops I bang away at it there we go that gives you a good idea and once that's all pulled up tight those pieces of uh, PVC will actually cover up right over top of the, uh, the nuts there. And then, let me find them here. Oops. I just got some uh, wing nuts. And I'll put some washers in here. And see, that's all I got to do to secure this. If I can get it started. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's just, oh my god, that thing just went down the frickin' leg. Are you kidding me? All right, well, good thing we have more of them because that was a goner. I'm not going after that one. But anyway, that gives you an idea. Now all I have to do is just take this piece and mount it to the back of the panel, and we're good to go. Um, the only thing left I have to do is, uh, is the arms, which I played with a little bit, and um, I just zip-tied them to the, uh, to the torso here and uh, I'll zip tie the hands up to the uh, sign. And that's pretty much it, but I just wanted to show you how I mounted the sign uh, to give you an idea how I did that. And uh, this worked out really well, I think, and it is quite, quite secure. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the mannequin and everything once I get it all put together, and then we'll get into the actual projection part of it. So stay tuned. One quick thing I forgot to add was um, when attaching the leg to the torso and everything, um, it's not very secure. So I like to use this um, HVAC ductwork strapping. Um, it's cheap. You can buy a whole roll of it for, for it's very, very inexpensive. And uh, it's already, you know, pre-drilled with all these holes and everything. It's pretty flimsy, but as far as, you know, just tying a couple things together. Um, I use it on a lot of things, but uh, it works very well, so just a quick tip. All right, he's, uh, he's pretty much done. He's all dressed and uh, got the mask on, got his tie, we got his hands put on. Um, what can I tell you about this? I, guess I still gotta clean up a few things. Uh, if you can see here that it's bolted through, got everything all painted up, and that turned out all right. The hands turned out okay for the most part. He's just gonna be holding the sign, so I didn't go into great detail trying to make them look perfect, but um, yeah, next step will be to get the uh, the sign put together on the on Sony Vegas and um, get it all edited and all that good stuff, and then uh, once the projector finally ever gets here, uh, we'll be able to test it out, so there you have it. All right, guys, now that I have successfully showed you how to bolt a piece of plywood to a mannequin, <laughs> I apologize for that. It took a long time to get to this point. And uh, yeah, we finally got some projections going on. I, uh, I got my projector. Uh, this is my Chinese projector from, uh, well, from China. Uh, Mad City did a video on this and uh, I'm happy with it. For $65, I think it works pretty good. You know, the quality of it isn't, you know, of the image isn't, fantastic but for $65 and for displaying a sign is perfectly acceptable in my book. Um, currently I have it just running off my laptop but eventually I'm just gonna have it running off uh, either SD card or a flash drive which the uh, the projector will um, run off of as well so but uh, anyway I will uh, I'm gonna cut the lights off real quick here there we go in my garage and um, yeah as you see I got the um, the projection going on here on the screen and I also use the projector as a spotlight as you can see I got him uh, lighting up the uh, the mannequin's face and uh, I'll show you some 
tricks on how I did that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's, it's working pretty well. At first I did it on a 16-9 a aspect ratio. Um, that's how I also made the, uh, the video. Uh, I eventually switched it over to a 4-3, um, which worked out better because of the placement of the panel itself and where I wanted the spotlight to be. The, um, the height difference compared to the width of the panel uh, just made it so the 4.3 worked better. Um, the only thing that did was it kind of squished all my lettering together, which I can go back and I can um, fix that in Sony Vegas, which we'll get into shortly here. Um, but let me go over here. This is back to this video here. This is the, uh, the actual video uh, that's being shown. And down here in the bottom, that's the panel itself, obviously. And then I have all this area up here, which is basically nothing being projected, is being projected black, so you're not um, getting anything. But I, um, I finally dawned on me, I was like, well, if I put something up here in the middle and if I shine it onto the guy's face, it's gonna act like a spotlight. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and I'll show that in, uh, in Vegas here. Uh, just a little bit, but uh, yeah, just simply like by putting that little oval there, it worked as a spotlight on his face there, as you can see. So anyway, um, yeah, that's this is uh, I'd say I'm 85 percent done. I still got a lot of fine tuning of the video to do and and what text I want to put up there and all that. But uh, this gives you a good idea of uh, what. Uh, what I wanted to display on my my panel and uh, as you can see here I got a little uh, skull spinny shattering image going on just for something just to put up there just to test out and I might keep it I might get rid of it I think I need to get more text and and whatnot so uh, but anyway stay tuned we're gonna get into the um, to the actual video making part of it which will get kind of in depth well kind of in depth but not really but uh, anyway stay tuned all right guys now we're going to get into the actual editing of the uh, video and once you take a look at this i don't want you to get, to get discouraged right off the bat because uh, of all of what's going on here it's really not that bad um i use a program called sony vegas pro this is a uh, uh, release 11 it's a couple years old but it uh, definitely does everything and more than what I'll ever need need in a, a video editing program. Um, don't think you need a program this advanced. You can certainly do this with something like uh, Windows Movie Maker or iMovie, whatever you're using. Um, you know the free ones that probably are uh, already installed on your computer. Um, but this is the video, and I'll uh, show you what I got going on here. Uh, first off, I'm going to turn off these layers and start down here at the bottom you see here this is the um, my my wood grain panel basically that's being projected onto the to the screen to make it look like he's holding a piece of wood and all I did to get this was I started with going to Google and I just do something as simple as searching for wood grain okay click on that and hit search oh we're already here hit images and there you go there's many different types of wood grain whatever and you can put whatever you want on your background it doesn't matter so I would take something like that and then all you have to do is right click save image as and you got the uh, the image so I would take that and I would open it up in a, an image editing program such as you can do it in paint I use a free program called GIMP um, here it is here and all it is I inserted as a layer right here you can see it there and the trick that I did was my panel that the guy is holding is 16 inches tall by 40 inches 48 inches wide and what I did was I converted that over to metric so for example, my 16 inches high, um, that is equal to 25.4 millimeters. So 16 times 25.4 is roughly 407. Same thing for the width. 48 inches times 25.4 is roughly 1,220 millimeters. So I take that and I use that as um, 
I convert that over to pixels. So, for example, I would um, do a new layer, and again, this you know, do this however you want. But just to give you an idea of, uh, let's see, what I say, the width was 1220, and the height was 407. Okay. So, let me just uh, make that white real quick so you can see it. So there's the um, that's the aspect ratio I guess you could say or the ratio of my panel itself and then I can go and stretch it got that locked and you see it, it keeps the um, keeps the aspect ratio on it so that's a little trick so anyway I make my bra my background I'm gonna delete this real quick make my background my panel here and whatever you don't want projected onto you just make it black um, let me do that again. Let's see. Let's just do this. I can do here, say if I have something over here that I don't want um, projected on. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I did not mean to do that. Make a new layer here. There. So you just, uh, you just black it out. Whatever you don't want projected on, black it out. Simple enough. So you save that just as an image, and you put that into your... Um, video editing program which I got down here and then from there um, for for this particular program it's just a matter of building layers of what you want so uh, I start down here this is the very back layer which is my paneling the next one up where you saw all the bugs and things right there that is my uh, I took a, a clip off my uh, Creepy Crawlies DVD. Uh, I just took the clip and, and ripped it as an MP4. And now this layer right here is that video. You see here. Now you see up here that video is um, showing up past my wood grain. So just like I did in GIMP, um, I just took, uh, you see there, there's a, just a black image. And I put that in here. And I can move that around. Let's see. Let me... Um, Okay, I got the, this is a different one. This is not the actual one I'm working on. But if you watch over here in the preview screen, I can take this thing and I can drag it down wherever I want it, you see? In fact, it looked like that might have been in the wrong spot anyway. Um, so, yeah, so you can uh, you can block it out the same way uh, on your videos as you do your images. And sometimes you might have to do that. So, um, let's see, from there, I got my, my bugs there, my next layer up here. This is all my text. Okay. And uh, that's the same thing. You can put text on, you know, any video um, that. Uh, any video editing program you can you, you should be able to put text on let's see and same thing with that I can move my oops if I am I don't know why that's not moving I got I'm probably in the wrong spot on the video anyway it's irrelevant but so many things you can do so I got all my text you saw a little skull spinning ditty there it is there and um, that is pretty much it it's uh, it's not that not that difficult just make a pro, make a uh, uh, an image of your background. Um, this I'm just stretching the length of the time. You see, here's my timeline. I got it about two minutes long. When you first put in a image, it defaults to five seconds. So that's five seconds worth of time there. Oops, I don't want that though. So I'll get rid of it. And uh, then you just stretch it out. And this is basically it's playing a. Um, if I turn all these off, if I turn all these off. It's basically just playing a video of a single image. See it going there? So that's all you gotta do. And then from there, you can put your text on there, and you can add your animation and everything else. And and um, yeah, simple as that. Now, one thing I will point out on these uh, this video here that I put over top of it. Let me turn that back on so you can see it up here. Let me turn this one back on too. Um, you can still see the wood grain on the background and. I, and a lot of the free uh, video editing programs probably aren't going to have this option, but I can adjust the transparency of it there. So I have it at about 70%. So you can still see the wood grain behind it, but the images are still projected on the on to it to make it look like these snakes or bugs or whatever are coming out of that panel. So anyway, uh, I hope this is helpful to you guys. Oh, I completely forgot about this up here. So yeah, I wanted to. Um, I had this. This up here is the blacked out area. And I wanted to put a light on the guy's face. So all I did was I made another 
layer here and I put um, a circle up here. Uh, I guess I can show you how to do this if, if by chance you have Sony Vegas. Uh, but you go into media generators and I'm going to forget which one it is. No, 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 no. I don't think it's that one either. Where the heck is it? Here we go. Right there. Right there. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Right there. So uh, I just drag that down. Well, let's just play with it here. We'll put one over here real quick. See? Now I can move this around, make it smaller, bigger, change the color. Oops. That's not what I want to do. Uh oh, oh. Did you hear that? Didn't like that. What did I do? I hit, must have hit something the wrong thing. But anyway, you can change the colors of it and everything. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, and then again, I uh, would go in here. And if you watch it up there in the corner, I'm actually pointing at my screen like you can see my finger. <laughs> but uh, you can move it around uh, wherever you want it to. And it actually it just works like a regular uh, spotlight on it. So, And uh, I think that worked out okay. It's not super bright, but you know it does the trick. So that's it, guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I'll be sure to answer any questions you have if I can answer them. This is, I'm by no means an expert at this. This is my first attempt at any type of projection project and mapping or anything like that. Um, but yeah, give the, uh, give the video a like if you did like it and, uh, subscribe if you're new, new to the, uh, to the YouTube channel. And, uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you.